everybody, Rob Bregman here, and welcome to this first of our video reviews here at RGBHQ.com. This one's going to be a road test review of a product I've been using for a couple of years now, and it's one that I love. Um, I'll start off by saying that. A uh, quick note on ethics, we're not paid to say nice things about anybody's products. This is generally something that I've used and loved. I had this to review uh, for one of the photography magazines a couple of years ago and I loved it so much I kept it. And it's from Ona, uh, an American company who make camera bags. Now it is a camera bag as you'll see as I show you inside it, uh, but more importantly it's become just my daily bag so it's kind of my satchel. Now this is the Ona Brixton uh, and this is the kind of full grain leather version in cognac I think they call it. It does come in a kind of a dark smoke canvas, a black leather, um, and the canvas ones have the leather straps and finishing. Uh, but the, this cognac leather is just beautiful. So even though it's got a bit kind of battered, it kind of adds to it um, and it's softened up and just looks lovely. Um, there is no fault with this bag whatsoever. I'll just give you a quick rundown of how it operates and everything. It's a very simple bag. It's a, a solid construction. Uh, on the back, there's space for iPad or you know notebooks, or I use it for passports and train tickets, that sort of thing. There's a pocket on each side, it goes right the way down the end. Uh, useful for pens and kind of small notebooks. That's the sort of thing I use quite a lot. Over here, I usually keep a few business cards in there. The straps that are attached onto these little latches can be adjusted. Now, I've heard of some people who've had this bag and they've lost this end. Um, I'll take a few close-up photos to add to this video so you can see what I'm talking about. But they literally open up like that and then you can adjust them. But this part is separate. Uh, so I've never had a problem with it. Other people have, but it's something to keep in mind if that's the sort of thing you adjust quite a lot. Okay, inside the bag itself, two big front pockets. I have, you know, oh, actually my passport's in there this time. Uh, my notebook, I usually keep a Kindle in this one and uh, charging cables. And then inside is kind of a gray textured fabric, uh, which is Velcroable. So we have four dividers in here. We have a big one on the top, which I'm hoping you can see there, which fits a laptop in, a 13 inch MacBook Pro retina fits in there perfectly. And then I've got the dividers set up. I have this larger section here, which has kind of gloves and bits and bobs uh, for just kind of general day-to-day -day things. I have another smaller section over here which I usually keep a charger and spare batteries in. My other divider is over here, and I keep, you know, kind of like a, a small selection of things like um, plasters and uh, paracetamol, aspirin, that sort of thing. Just things that I use on dry travels because I travel a lot. And then this leaves this last section, which is taking up maybe a quarter of the inside of the bag, not including the, the pouch for the laptop. And in there, I usually have a SD card pouch and an X100 and a wide angle converter and lens cap. And that fits in there perfectly with loads of room to spare, like really lots and lots of room. Um, I do also occasionally keep a 5D or 7D with actually the lens which is on the C100 Mark II at the moment, which is the Canon L series uh, 24 to 105 f4, which is a really good walk around lens. I'll talk about street photography later on, um, the X100 is by far my favourite camera for that kind of work. It's just so unobtrusive, whereas carrying around a, a big black DSLR, people look at you when you start pointing at them. But the X100, you don't have that problem, which is why it's almost always in here. The only reason it's not in there for the, this video is because I've lent it to somebody else in one of the studios here, so he can try it out. Okay, so what can I say about the bag? Um, it's beautifully constructed, uh, the stitching is lovely. It has this kind of fold over section, which is full leather on both sides. And that means that as you flap the, the, the cover over, it retains some weatherproofing. I've never had water get inside this bag, not once. Um, and I don't know anybody that else has. Stitching for the handle on the back is really strong. Uh, I don't know how far it goes down, but you can see that this 
band which goes all the way around the, the, the bag uh, is stitched over the top of this, giving it some extra strength. And I also know that the, the leather that the main shoulder strap yeah, is attached to it goes right the way underneath. Um, and you can see there's a, an extra padded section on the bottom there, um, which just helps to kind of keep the muck out and get a little bit of extra padding as you put it up and down. Like I say, some people have complained about the weight, but you know, this is a thick full grain leather bag. It's not going to be light, but I use it all day, every day, wherever I'm going. It's been all around the world. I think it's done 50,000 miles in the last year. It's been to China, Hong Kong, uh, America, all over Europe, and it's never let me down. It always fits exactly what I need on. Um, it fits under the seat in front of me on a plane so I can have my Peli 1510 with camera gear on it in the in the, the, the luggage rack above me. This can go on with, you know, a snack and a drink and all that kind of stuff for long flights. Uh, my Kindle, most importantly, or my iPad. So that's the owner Brixton. Uh, I definitely recommend it. I think it's about $400. Um, and check out the different colours. If you are worried about the weight or you, you don't particularly like leather uh, for whatever reason, then check out the slightly cheaper canvas versions, although they do have leather straps and details. But wonderful bag. Um, I'm hoping and expecting that I'll get a good few years use out of this. In fact, I imagine I'll hand it down to my daughter when she's my age and she'll be able to do the same again. So that's it for the kind of long-term road test of the own Brixton, and I'll be back with more video road tests and reviews soon. Thanks very much. I've been Rob. Bye-bye.